Hello and hi guys, this is Sonny Maroon and welcome to Stein Code. In this tutorial, we'll be looking into creating basic shaders inside of Ghetto. This will be a side quick series in which I'll be breaking down various shaders and shader effects that you might use into your games and learn how to code shaders in Ghetto. So let's get started. I'm just quickly gonna go to 2D mode, create a node 2D, name it Level. Add the ghetto icon and just save the scene and go to the material of the sprite and set it to sh new shader material and add a new shader. And I'm gonna give the shader the shader type of canvas item and render mode of unshaded and I'm gonna be using the fragment method the fragment method for this tutorial if you want to learn more about the ghetto shading language go to the docs and read a little about them but the most important things that I will recommend you reading is about the uniforms and the built-in functions of all of the render modes the shader types and everything uh, just read everything that has been built into it for your ease and use so that you can use the shading language as a good alternative to OpenGL and it's heavily uh, a lot like OpenGL so most of the code that you copy from OpenGL should work with a little bit of tinkering here and there but for now, let's create the most basic shader possible. And I'm going to set color equal to vec4. Colors are actually a vector4. That is, they have four float values built into them. And each float value represents one of the color channels or the alpha channel. Like red, green, blue, and alpha in this specific order. So be careful about that. And in yes, in the shading language of OpenGL and this shading language present Gado, one and one point zero are two different things. One is an integer and one point zero is a float. So as you can see, the invalid argument int and float. So I will have to give it more floats. And I have to make sure that all the things that I give it are floats rather than hints other than it will not function properly. And now so as to save a shader, just go to this floppy disk icon and hit save. And I'm just gonna save it um call it basic shade basic dot shader and we are done. So every time you want to save your shader or make sure that your sa shader has been uh, saved, you'll have to go to the floppy icon and hit save. Or you can just hit Control S. But uh, this is for saving everything and not only the shader. So keep that in mind. Now, what we need to do is we have created a shader. But what if we want to set it to a specific color? which we want to provide it on the runtime. To do that, we can create the uniforms. As I told you, uniforms are very important because they allow us to take the input from an external source inside of an OpenGL code, or in this case, the Godot shading language. And now, as I've created this color uniform, and make sure to use the right hint uh, because wrong hints will cause the ghetto system to malfunction or give wrong outputs and all that stuff. So now you have got a shader parameter color. Now going back to a script, we're just gonna change the spec4 to color and voila, <laughs> you have got your color being displayed. So now you can use this as an external source to set up your color. Now, just for the sake of showing you how to tinker, 
with these uh, shader parameters let's just create a small script I'm gonna call it shader test and create it and all that we need to do is use the self dot material dot set function and inside the set function will will provide it with the string property which is going to be shader param and then the name of whatever we need to change or whatever property we need to change and now I'm gonna pass in a value I'm gonna say color and as you can see the things that it takes are float red green blue and alpha so I'm gonna give it um, 0.5 0 0.5 uh, and 1.0 and 1.0 so this should be something of a mixed back color with more of blue in it so it should be a bluish color let's see if on playing yes we see the color and it's as simple as that to change colors using scripts so now for some of the extra things that you can do um, let's just use the color equal to now what if we want to use the default texture present in the sprite that is the ghetto icon to do that we need to use the texture or the sampler 2d texture which has been provided to us and to convert it to a color we will need to use the texture and then the UV value to lay it on the quad or the sprite so it is as simple as that and we are done so this is the basics of creating a shader in ghetto but uh, I would like to also add in that color can be accessed using multiple ways one of the ways is I can say red green equal to UV oh sorry UV and this will just set the red and green channel to UV or the UV coordinate I can use vec2 and set it to 0, 0.0 and the red green channel will be set to 0 and it will become completely blue or I can just say 1.0 and it will become completely white or yellowish so or you can just change the green to blue for changing the red and blue values you can do red and A alpha so that everything or the complete alpha value is set to 1 and you can also do something like G and R which uh, which will make sense if I just go and do this uh, let me just remove this code or comment out this and now I can say R B G A and this is going to just exchange the red and blue channels from each other I can also do R in the center and this will once again change the values or exchange the values and once again and you can just keep playing with it as much as we like so this is as simple as it gets so this is the basics of shaders in Godot keep trying and keep having fun with it and keep fiddling with all the settings in the next tutorial I'll be bringing and breaking down some kind of a complex shader you can put in some kind of shader request down in the description I will likely be doing an alpha blend or an additive blend shader or probably something more specific if I like something from the comment section so keep me notified like the video and subscribe if you liked it so bye for now